Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to show you how to make your own matching memory game in about 10 minutes of your time, absolutely free. It's easy, and when you're done, you'll have a completely customized memory game that you can show off to your students, customers, or friends. This tutorial assumes no prior knowledge or experience, so everyone can do it. Let's begin. Okay, I will be using the Interacti platform for this tutorial. In order to create a new activity in Interacti, you must first log into your account. After you have signed in, click Create to get going. I'm going to choose the Create from Scratch option to show you the whole process from the very beginning. Great, now let's add a memory game to our project. I click all blocks and select Memory from the drop-down menu on the left. I think 12 cards will be enough for our tutorial, so let's choose this template. You can add or remove cards later on if needed. Okay, the template has been added, and I click Edit to start creating our game. As you can see, here you can change the number of cards that will appear in your game. I will keep 12 cards, but you can pick whatever you wish. First of all, let's add the image for the card's backsides. To do this, I click Change. Since I already have some images for this game, I click Upload Image to choose one from my computer. Then select this one. After this, just click Place Image. Excellent. Here are more settings that you can change if you wish, but they are not necessary. Then we want to click Next and start adding our cards. I want to create a game about animals, for example. Let's add the first pair of cards. I simply click on the photo icon. At this point, I can upload a picture from my computer again by clicking Upload Image, but let's just pretend that I don't have one. That's not a problem because Interacti has built-in image libraries such as Unsplash and Pixabay. Let's find a photo of a monkey on Unsplash, for example. I click this button and write Monkey. As you can see, there are a variety of pictures to choose from. Let's pick the one we like and click Next. At this point, you can crop your image if you want to and save it. Then just select our image and click Place Image. Now we need to add the same image to the second card to create a pair, but let's do it even more interesting and add text instead. I click on the text icon and write Monkey. Then I pick the red color for this card and click Save. Perfect, your first pair is ready. All we have to do is just repeat this to the rest of the pairs. I do the same with the second pair of cards. Go to the Unsplash library and go with Giraffe. Then add text and choose a color. It's done. Very simple, right? All we have to do now is to repeat this process for the other pairs. Then just click Next to go to the final screen tab. Here you can set the text that users will see after they complete your game. You can keep it as it is or change it if you want. Then click the Change button and add an image. Let's pick this one. Our game is ready. Let's save the changes by clicking Save. At this point, we can publish our game, but let's make a few minor adjustments to make it look even better. I'll add a small header image by adding a new image block above my game.
Then, I will turn on the show cards before the game start setting to make my game even more engaging. You can also customize your game even further by adding gamification features like a timer, countdown, or leaderboard. But let's talk about these additional features in the next tutorials. Okay, it's all over now. Let's click Publish to make it available to the public. A link to your new game will appear here. You can just copy it and send it to your students, friends, or colleagues. Another cool thing that you can do is click on the violet button and get a PDF file of your game that you can print and use offline. So, let's see what we got. Great, that's how quick and easy we made a memory game. There are many other functions and tools on the website, so you can experiment with it. But my goal for today was to show you the easiest and fastest way. I hope it was useful for you, and see you in the next tutorials.